my name is Jalen and this is Art in Color, a channel where I talk about contemporary artists of color, for the most part. Today we're going to talk about Dawood Bey, a photographer who creates extremely gorgeous black and white photographs that center the depth, humanity, and specificity of the black experience. Before we get into it, please press the little red subscribe button so you can get notified every single time I post a video. On to the art! Dawood Bey is a photographer, educator, and musician who was born in 1953 in Jamaica, Queens, New York. He studied at the School of Visual Arts in New York from 1977 to 1978 and much later in his career studied at the Yale University School of Art. In his work, Bey moves black people in America into the foreground of visual conversation. Starting with street portraits, his photos have helped ensure that African Americans are seen as legitimate subjects in institutional spaces. Increasingly, he presents them as witnesses to historical injustice as well. From elegantly dressed Harlem women and men to mothers combing hair and children playing and eating candy on the street, Bay is able to capture a sort of shockingly intimate look at his subjects. Dawood Bey's interest in photography began after he visited the exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art titled Harlem On My Mind. He's quoted as saying, the black community was upset because there was an exhibition about the black community and yet the works in the show were not made by African American photographers. So the black community felt that their voice was being excluded. It's the first time that I began to get a sense of the power that photographs could have. It's the first time that I realized that photography could be more than just pictures in a newspaper or magazine. Since the 1970s, Dawood Bey has explored ideas of race, visibility, and American history through his photographs. Bey explores photography's potential to reveal communities and stories that have been underrepresented or even unseen. Both a form of personal expression and an act of political responsibility, Bay's photos insist on the power of photography to transform stereotypes, bring communities together, and create greater conversations on the black experience. His first solo exhibition, which took place in 1979 at the Studio Museum in Harlem, was titled Harlem, USA. Harlem, USA was a series of 25 portraits of life in Harlem, New York, and its expanse of occupants. The photos were taken using a small 35mm camera. He was specifically very interested in showing the works in Harlem itself at the Studio Museum. He's quoted as saying, So I decided when I completed Harlem, USA, that I would exhibit that work in the community, in a space that was immediately accessible to the people in my photographs. It was my first museum exhibition, the result of a deliberate attempt to create a relationship between the Harlem community and the institution through my work, to use the space of the museum in an intentional way, to create a situation in which people from the Harlem community that I had photographed would have the opportunity to see themselves on a museum wall. Dawood Bay follows the legacy of photographers who are interested in challenging notions of what blackness is and what it can be on a daily basis. Some examples of these photographers are James Vanderzee and Gordon Parks. A work of Dawood Bay's I would love to discuss is The Birmingham Project. In this photographic project, Dawood Bay looks back to the September 15, 1963 white supremacist bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama that killed four African-American girls and claimed the lives of two African-American boys in its aftermath. Collaborating with Birmingham residents and the Birmingham Museum of Art, Dawood Bay produced 16 large-scale, black and white, paired portraits of women and men, boys and girls, staging them in the pews of Bethel Baptist Church. The images pair portraits of a girl or boy the age the victim was in 1963 with portraits of a woman or man the age the child would have been if she or he had survived. Bay researched the project for several years before completing it as a commission to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the bombing for the Birmingham Museum of Art. Bay, after seeing an image as a child in 1964 of a young survivor of the bombing, felt that the attack was burned in his memory. Recently, Bay has shifted to large-scale gelatin silver prints, usually of nocturnal landscapes in which no one is present. 
These images are all locations in Ohio along one of the final legs of the Underground Railroad, and taken together, they imagine the perspective of an enslaved African on their way to freedom. Dawood Bay is currently a professor of art at Columbia College Chicago, and in 2017, he was awarded the MacArthur Foundation Genius Fellowship. Bay has worked in the collections of the High Museum of Art, the Brooklyn Museum, and the Art Institute of Chicago, among others. He also had a retrospective of his four-decade career collaborated between the Whitney Museum of Art and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. As always, I'll provide some links below so you can learn more about him and his practice. The question of the day is, who is your favorite street photographer? Please leave your answers below and we can talk about it in the comments amongst our little art community. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you learned something new, share it with a friend or subscribe to the channel. The choice is yours. Um, thank you so much for watching and until next time, goodbye!